So let's talk about modeling kitchens, without any modeling skills. There will be a time when you need to model an interior scene, and you have something in mind but end up with bad version of it. In this case, don't model it, do it the lazy way. To do an easy and fast kitchen modeling in Blender, we can rely on add-ons that are built in the program. In the edit settings, we can enable the ArcMesh add-on which can help beginners do great scenes with no time. The iMesh settings is on the side panel, so, from an orthographic top view, using the pencil, we can draw a simple sketch for the walls, and with this option in the settings, we can turn this into real ones. We can now edit the walls lengths to fit any space we need, I will make it 4 by 4 meters, turn on the ceiling, the floor, and close the walls with this last checkbox. I will hide the ceiling just to see inside, we can also adjust the wall height and thickness, and edit any other aspect related to it. Here in the baseboard, we might need to increase its value a bit to make it pops up from inside the walls. So to let this room, we can add a window on this wall, and it will appear in the cursor place. Once you add any of those elements, the settings should be visible, and you can now change the type, the rotation and scale to make it looks as you want them to be. Once you done with the settings, we can select the empty under this window object, make sure it sets on the ground level, and then we can move it along the wall. The window still intersecting with the walls, to fix that, select the wall and hit the auto holes option. After this window we can add a normal door to connect this space to the rest of the house, maybe in this corner, and the process is the same, edit the type, the rotation and the scale in each one of them. Once we change the type here, the hole might disappear, in this case, we just need to hit the auto holes button again. Now for the best thing about this add-on, the cabinets, we can place the cursor in this corner, and hit cabinet, and a single unit will be added in this area, for this one settings, it should pops up in the bottom left corner, if we open it. We can adjust the type for both floor and top level cabinets. We can change the thickness, the height, and the handle type if you need. With this number we can increase the units, and let us change some of them. This middle one should be a double door type, so I will increase the width a bit, and change its type, we can also increase or remove the shelves inside the units from this option. This fourth one can be drawers and adjust its number if needed. I did increase the cabinets number to 5, and now if we hit the cabinets button again, a new set of units will be added in the same place, change its type to top level and it will show up. We can adjust them as well, making the middle one a glass double doors, and change the drawer type to something more open. I feel this room is a bit small so I will adjust the wall length, make it 6 meters. Now once we done with the cabinets, 
We can adjust anything around it, fix the handle's position if needed. Those one also are in the wrong side, so just mirror them. Once you're done, add camera to the scene, let us set up a scene and make a basic lighting, I usually go with 28 as a focal length, fix the frame dimension to fit the image size you need, make sure the camera is around 1.3 meters height, and close the ceiling from the side panel. I will turn the engine to cycles and switch to render view. In the world settings we can add a sky map to lit the scene, use the render region checkbox to smooth the viewport render process. We can also add a sun, and with the sun position tab, assign both the sun and the sky to adjust them together. I can now set the time to 1300, fix the north offset, and with some experimenting with the latitude value, we can get a good lighting inside. Here in the top we can adjust the sun intensity to around half the default value and increase the size number for smoother sunlight. And that's it for the lighting, we can now fix the handles material, so I will add a new material to one of them, give it an off white color with some reflections, and then assign this new material to the rest of the handles. We can also add a bevel to any of those object in the cabinets, and using link we can assign this same bevel to the rest of them. What remains now is some kitchen furniture, a sink, some pots. And plants would look nice with a small table if you have that, or just visit the channel where you can find many of those models, links in the description as always. The process is easy here, select any model and copy it, go back to your work file and paste it, or use a bend, link, the asset library, all works the same. Once you import it to the scene, scale it a bit if needed, and move it around until it fit. So I did that couple more times and brought some few models, and here how it looks. Pretty amazing if you ask me and we didn't even model a cube. That's it guys, stay sharp, goodbye.